okay so in the previous video we have discussed about design of sievers and we have seen the four cases here that is case one full then half less than half and more than half so in the third case there is a slight mistake so this angle theta that i have given it to you this theta is taken as half of the angle okay so take the half of the angle as theta rest all everything is same see how to calculate this weighted perimeter weighted perimeter means we have to find out this distance we have to find out this distance so this is generally equal to r into theta so here the radius is r and what is the theta theta means between these two points what is the angle subtended so if this is half if the half angle is theta then total angle is this total angle is 2 theta so it will be r into 2 theta that is 2 r theta so that is here rest everything is same okay now we'll start with the next important topic that is called as sever appurtenances sever appurtenances so what is the meaning of this so first you should understand that let's say this is the let's say this is the payment okay so this is the road pavement now under this road under this road there is there is or there there is a sewer system or we can say there is a sewer now from this sewer the sewage flows so from this sewers the sewage flows now there has to be certain there has to be certain construction that has to be done or certain equipments that should be present which should be used to check that this sewage is flowing properly so if we see this horizontally if we see this horizontally let's say that this is the main sewage line so this is the sewage line and above this there is the pavement that this is the road now at certain intervals there has to be there has to be some openings through which we can go and check whether this pipeline or whether these sewers are working properly okay even there has to be certain equipments or the construction should be such that if there is any block if there is any block in the sewers then we should be able to clean that block okay so these kind of constructions or this kind of equipments or structures which are used in this sewer system for its efficient operation and maintenance this is called as sewer appurtenances okay so we'll just write it in short here only so what is sewer appurtenances these are structures these are structures constructed constructed at suitable intervals at suitable intervals for efficient efficient operation and maintenance of sewer operation and maintenance of sewer okay now so let's start one by one the first one and the most important one is called as manhole so now the topic which are which we are going to discuss is completely theoretical so i will be giving you the points you just keep on writing it okay now so what is a manhole so manhole is a structure which is constructed for a person to go inside a sewer and check whether the sewer is working properly or not so if we try to draw it here let's say that this is the main pipe so this is the main sewage line okay now above this there is a structure which is constructed
and at the top of this at the top of this there is an opening which is given so this is an open and clear shaft okay now there are few names that you should understand here so this part of this part is called as access shaft so this is called as access shaft now what is the use of the access shaft so there are certain steps which are given so a person a person what it does so it opens it opens this shaft go inside and there are some steps which are given with the help of these steps it comes here he comes here okay so these are the steps this is called as working chamber so where he can work and do the operation and maintenance of the sewage line so working chamber and this structure is called as manhole manhole so write down the points about this so manhole is an opening so it is an opening constructed constructed for a person for a person to enter to enter the sewer for the purpose of for the purpose of inspection testing cleaning and removal and removal of obstruction of obstruction from the sewer line from the sewer line now so this manhole is built manhole is built at every change of alignment at every change of alignment also at every change of gradient etc okay now there, there is one important point about the spacing so the spacing of manhole spacing of manholes so if the diameter if the diameter is between 0.9 to 1.5 then for such case spacing is 90 to 150 meter so you can see it is just multiplication by 100 here and if the diameter if the diameter is between 1.5 to 2 meter 1.5 to 2 meter then in this case in this case the spacing will be same multiplied by 100 150 to 200 meter so there are two types of manholes one is called as normal manhole normal manhole and second one is called as deep manhole so based on the depth of the manhole they are classified into two types so if the depth is less than 1 meter if the depth is less than 1 meter normal one normal manhole and if it is greater than 1.5 meter then it is called as a deep manhole now what are the components of the manhole the components see this manhole is very very important that's why we are writing it in detail otherwise rest all we just have to see what is the name of the appurtenance and what is the main use of it so components of manhole are the first is access shaft access shaft so look at the diagram so for what the access shaft is used so access shaft is used for the passage of workers into the passage of workers into the main sewers so it is for the passage of workers 
workers in and out second one is called as working chamber working chamber so this is the working chamber so what is the use of working chamber so it is the space provided for worker for clean for the operation and maintenance work so working chamber is a space provided for worker space provided for worker to carry out to carry out operation and maintenance works okay so these are the two main components of manhole so you just remember the names and what is the main use of it so with this now the first component is completed now we'll move to the second one that is called as lamp hole lamp hole so it is a hole which is provided in sewer line for lowering a lamp inside so hole provided in sewer line for lowering the lamp inside now what is the function of this lamp hole so let's say so let's say that this is the sewage line or this is the sewer line so there is a hole which is provided so this is the first lamp hole and up, up to after certain distance there is a second lamp hole so this is called as lamp hole this is a sewage line now just look carefully that from one lamp hole what we do we insert a lamp here okay so this lamp glows then and there is one another person one another person here which looks whether he is able to see whether he is able to see where he is able to see this lamp if he is able to see the light from this lamp that means this sewer line between these two lamp holes is clear so that is the main function of the so that is the main function of the lamp hole so this is an electric lamp and it is used for the inspection whether the sewer is so it is used it is used for inspection inspection whether whether the sewer is clear sewer is clear or not okay just insert the insert the electric lamp from one lamp hole and see from the second lamp hole if you are able to see the light from the first lamp hole that means between these two lamp hole the sewer is clear and there is no blockage now the third one is called as catch basin or storm water inlet so in some books these both topics are given different but however the main purpose of this is same so if you just see or visualize somewhere you may have seen that if this is a road surface or we can say road pavement then just adjacent to it there are certain rectangular chambers which are present so they are generally made up of steel so these are rectangular chambers and they have some openings which are present here so what happens whatever the water is flowing whatever the water is flowing this water enters from this and goes inside the sewer line so below this below this there is a structure so below this there is a structure which allows the water to enter into the main sewer line so as we have discussed this is the main sewer line which is present below the road okay now whatever the storm water is coming that storm water is entering 
to this structure this structure here green structure this is called as this is called as catch basin or storm water inlet there is a pipe from here which connects the main which connects the main sewer line and this is our sewer line so whatever the water is coming now that water is getting collected here and once the level is above this then water starts flowing and enters into the <coughs> main sewer line this structure is called as catch basin okay now what happens is that whatever the small silty particles are there it gets settled in this catch basin only so it does it doesn't enter into the main sewer line and also whatever the big particles are there large objects are there they get caught in this top of the catch basin so write down so a catch basin is a rectangular chamber a catch basin is a rectangular chamber constructed along constructed along the sewer line to allow storm water to enter to allow storm water to enter into the sewer into the sewer and this top portion this is called as grating okay now let's move quickly to the next topic the fourth one that is called as clean outs so this is the main sewer line so this clean out is an inclined pipe or you can say inclined opening so through this opening through this opening we can clean the sewer okay so this is called as a clean out pipe so a clean out is an inclined pipe for cleaning the for cleaning the sewer lines okay so it's an inclined pipe which is used for cleaning the sewer lines now let's move to the next one that is the fifth one it is called as storm water regulator storm water regulator or overflow device overflow device so let's say this is a sewer okay and through this through this what sewage is flowing now if the level of sewage increases if the level level of sewer increases sewage increases then what happens is that there is an alternate passage which is provided there is an alternate passage which is provided that is that is called as storm water sewer so there is an alternate sewer here present from this point so this is a manhole so from this point what happens if the level of sewers increase if the level of sewage increases then it gets trapped into this another line that is called as storm water sewer storm water sewer so 
so when the sewage level will increase it will start getting flowed in this another pipe so this is our main sewer combined sewer and that one is the strong water sewer and this acts as a this acts as an overflow device okay so write down so it delivers it delivers excess flows excess flows during the storm periods during the storm periods so there is one other type in this that is called as a leaping weir so a leaping weir we just see the diagram of that so this is called as an overflow weir overflow weir and the leaping weir diagram if you just draw it then this is the main sewer line to this there is an arrangement here okay so whatever the sewage is flowing now from here so initially initially when the velocity is less or we can say the flow is less then it will just arise from here and fall into this and this is our main sewer or the combined sewer now if the flow increases during the storm then what happens suddenly due to this heavy flow the velocity will be more and it will it will start getting into this next sewer okay so it will bounce from here and it will get into the next sewer here so this is called as this is called as excess storm sewer so this is our excess storm sewer this portion is called as lip this portion is called as weir and this is our combined sewer okay so these are the various top various types of sewer appurtenances these are very very important <coughs> for mpsc and upsc esc exam so theoretical questions can be asked based on this so what are the various types and what is the use of each so go through this video completely and make the notes properly so this is it about the sewer appurtenances